Hi guys, it's Phil from TeachBlend and in this video we're going to have a look at the best way of presenting slides in PowerPoint. So rather than screen sharing, we're going to use PowerPoint Live so we can see all of our participants, slides that are coming up, as well as annotating our slides as well. I hope you find this video useful and if you do, please remember to like and subscribe. So you see here I'm in a Microsoft Teams meeting and what we'd normally do is we click the share button and then from here we'll choose a screen, sometimes we'll get this wrong, we'll click the share screen option. This will then display the entire screen to all users in that meeting and then we're often trying to find the presentation that we're looking for and then we'll maximize this as well as the users being able to see everything we're doing. We might maximize this then and present. You'll see here, because I've got two screens, I've got my speaker notes, everything viewable. So then I'd have to swap displays and then present. You'll also see as well that I can only see the one person, normally the one what's asked a question or speaking, but I can only see one attendee while I'm presenting these slides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this and I'm going to show you a better way of presenting your presentations in Teams. So you're going to click share and you're going to scroll down and find PowerPoint Live. You'll see a recent list of presentations you've been working on as well as being able to browse your computer and OneDrive and you can see here I can browse files. I'm just going to select one that I've recently been working on and that comes in recent but you can upload and browse. This time you'll see PowerPoint Live and what it'll do is it'll prepare your slides. As you can see here as the user I can see all of my slides that are coming up as well as my slide notes and my attendees. I can use the slides at the bottom to skip so this is really great if I want to miss a section off for example because I don't need to or refer back. I can use cursors, I can use laser pointers and the attendees can see all of these interactions and it makes your presentation much more engaging. As You can highlight and rub out as well. You can also use more actions from here as well and you can translate slides, you can turn slides into high contrast. As well, your users can do this individually as well. So if you have got different users with different needs, they can do this on their own device. I can also use standout to add a bit more engagement and put myself over the screen as well and I can also prevent participants from moving forward as well as stop presenting all directly here. I can use the arrows on the bottom left as well to just navigate through my slides in a linear fashion. What I'm going to do now is show you what the users actually see. So you're going to go in here and I'll show you what they'll see is they'll just see you presenting your presentation as usual. As you can see here, they don't see all of the options that you get. One of the other things you can do is you can click the present in Teams option directly in a PowerPoint and that will open up PowerPoint Live for you. So this is useful if you've got your PowerPoint already open, you can just hit the present in Teams option and provided you're in a meeting, you'll see the same options that we have had. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, drop us a like and subscribe. Thank you.